Watch carefully, because the harder you look, the less you see, and the easier it will be for me to deceive you. This is the card trick that cannot be explained. The magician takes a deck of cards and removes the two jokers. He also has a prediction displayed on the table. He splits the pack into two and gives one pack to the spectator and keeps one pack for himself. The magician starts shuffling the cards and tells the spectator to do the same thing. The spectator picks up their cards and starts to shuffle them. The magician then picks up half of his cards, flips them over and gives them to the spectator. The spectator then flips over half of his cards and gives them to the magician. The magician then shuffles together the cards face up into face down. He tells the spectator to do the same thing. Both the spectator and the magician repeat this process two more times, taking half their cards, flipping them over and giving them to each other to shuffle into the deck. This means that all the cards are mixed and there's a random number of face up and face down cards in each pile. The magician then takes both piles of mixed cards and shuffles them together again. He displays the cards to the spectator, showing how randomly everything is mixed up. The magician then stops and points to his prediction and opens it up. The prediction reads, there will be 25 face down cards. So the magician counts out how many face down cards there are in the deck. As the magician predicted, there are 25 face down cards. The magician then opens up the prediction again and it reads, there will be 10 black cards. The magician then counts out 10 black cards. He opens up the prediction one more time and it says, all the cards are clubs. The magician points to the cards, revealing that they are all clubs. The spectator then points to the ace of spades in the middle of the pile, thinking he has fooled the magician, saying that the ace of spades is in fact not a club. But the magician stops opens up the prediction one more time to reveal another piece of paper. This piece of paper says, except for the ace of spades. The 
This is a very easy trick to perform, since it's practically self-working. Write, except for the ace of spades, on a small bit of paper and fold it up. Then take a piece of paper and fold it four times as shown. On the outside, write the word prediction. On the next fold, write, there will be 25 face down cards. On the next fold, write, 10 of these cards will be black. On the next fold, write that all of the cards are clubs. Then place your ace of spades prediction within the paper. The setup for the trick is as follows. Take 9 club cards and the ace of spades and then 15 random red cards. Mix them together and then place a joker on the bottom of the pile. Place another joker with all the other cards. To begin, spread the cards and find the jokers. When you get to the second joker, split the cards in half. Give the spectator the special pile, which you just set up. Then let the spectator shuffle their cards and you shuffle your cards at the same time. Take half of your cards and flip the pile upside down and give them to the spectator. Instruct your spectator to do the same thing. Riffle shuffle your cards into their cards as shown. Make sure the spectator riffle shuffles the cards and doesn't turn over any extra cards when shuffling or the trick won't work. If they cannot riffle shuffle, then let them do an overhand shuffle with the cards. Keep repeating this process as many times as you like. Take half the cards, flip it upside down, and then shuffle it with the spectator's cards. Once you are ready, take the spectator's pile and flip it over. This is very important for the trick to work. Then shuffle the two piles together. Now spread through the cards and show that it is completely mixed and shuffled. If you see the ace of spades is face up, then turn the deck over and this will make your prediction correct. If you don't see the ace of spades when you're spreading through the deck, then it means the ace of spades is already face down and therefore leave the deck in the same orientation. Now simply read out the prediction and the trick will work itself. The only way this trick can go wrong is if the spectator starts turning over extra cards when they're shuffling. Therefore, make sure you give the spectator strict instructions to shuffle the deck as you tell them. This effect is basically self-working and is really fun and easy to do. Once you get good at this effect, you can have a bit of fun in how you reveal the Ace of Spades revelation at the end of the trick. Instead of just having except for the Ace of Spades written on a piece of paper, instead, you could maybe print it on your t-shirt or on the back of the Ace of Spades write except for the Ace of Spades. The beauty of this trick is it's very open and you can take it yourself and find your own method and way of performing it. If you've got any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can.